everyone, this is Erin and this is Dan and we're here with Jockington.com with the UK players and uh, today's going to be a little bit interesting with the video that we're going to do. We're not going to do your usual basketball questions, we're going to lighten it up a bit. So I'm going to let Dan get the first question for today. Alright, so this is a question I've been talking to a lot of people about. Who would win a game between the uh, Kentucky team that won the title with Anthony Davis and, and those guys? or the DeMarcus Cousins John Wall team that lost to West Virginia in the tournament. I'll let you go first. Yeah, we've been waiting for them. Uh, I'd have to go with... I'd have to go with Anthony Davis. I feel like they're more of a team. They win the title. Yeah, yeah i got to go with Anthony Davis. They were, they were a problem. You know, AD, How long is your... Like Gilchrist, Aaron Knight, yeah. It was just great. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, AD and KG, yeah. you know, okay. national title. I go with AD too. No, what about you? No one's gonna say John Wall. I'm gonna text John Wall after we leave here and say that none of the new UK players like this team. I know he's gonna be upset with Don't that one. Kobe Cousins is terrible. But another thing too is Kentucky. There's a lot of pressure there when you get there, and I, you guys, you will figure it out. Even for girls, it's basketball is the life of Kentucky citizens. And so how do you guys feel like you're gonna be able to deal with that situation, whether it's a positive or negative manner? How are you guys handle it? You start with me. Anyone. I'm just gonna take it all in, you know, and just enjoy the whole process. You know, it's, a, it's good to be, it's good, it's a good pressure. You know, I'd rather be in that situation than not be in the situation. So, you know, just have fun with it and, you know, just come together as a team. Yeah, like you said, it's a great pressure. You know, that's one of the reasons I picked this school. Because being in the spotlight, you know, you can't mess up. You have to always bring your A game and be ready to play. Just take it as it is and just enjoy the whole experience. Uh, you got a great coaching staff there at UK. You got a great fan base. You have a great team built up for next year. So I see you're going to have a lot of support. I'm going to make it through all of the uh, Same thing they said, just coming together as a team and just bouncing stuff off of one another. And just, you know, uh, being there for each other. I actually look at it as a blessing um, for a growth basketball, especially the support that they get in Kentucky. Um, one of the things that drew me to the school. Now, I have a question for the boys. Um, a lot of people here, Tyler Ewis, going to Kentucky, and they're like, that, that, that is too short. He can't play in Kentucky. <laughs> what makes Tyler Ewis a special basketball player? Why do you guys think he's, he's what Kentucky needs? Uh, he's a true point guard. You know, I've played with Tyler for a while now. We've been on teams together at camps, and he's the best point guard I've ever played with. I don't want to boost his head up, but, but he is, honestly. And, um, you know, we just we just work together perfectly, and that's that's really that's really why we package in college. And you know, he finds me on the court, and then when he needs to take over games, he can. You know, I mean, Tyler out there is one of the best point guards in the country. That's a reason uh, he showed in the skills competition yesterday, giving the second ball to play to show that he's the whole package and everything. Uh, his size doesn't uh, affect him at all in anything he does. And he's out there. He's a true competitor. He's fierce on the court. And he's good. Uh, he's definitely a great point guard. He runs the team, runs the floor. Uh, he can shoot and score, find guys open. He just, he's a great competitor. Now, I know you guys are going to be watching UK in the Final Four, but I'm going to end the question off with something very interesting. Um, who is, for you, the cutest guy here, and for you guys, the cutest girl? Mm, that's a great it. question, uh, Aaron. I know, it's right? It's it's I know. It's, it's a tough question. It's a tough question. You're Take allowed your to say me if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all go first. All right, it's the uh, girl. It's the woman. Yeah, it's got to be Brooke on the stage. Did you say Tyler? Uh, <laughs> yeah, the smallest one. The littlest girl. Yeah, yeah. 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 You want to you wanna, you wanna say her name louder? Brooke. Brooke. Brooke, you that guys? Decision, Brooke. 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 Carl, Carl has something else. Oh, Carl, Carl, Carl has something else. Oh, who's the other one? I'm good. Don't be shy, Carl. Yeah. Only the whole world's gonna see this. <laughs> Alright, so, but we gotta go with the guys. So, let's hear it, Alyssa. I haven't made my official decision yet. What was that, Jaleel? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I haven't made my official decision. I need more time <laughs> to observe. She needs more time. There's just way too many attractive guys here. She's pulling the miles turn. Pulling the right. miles turn. But thank you guys for checking us out at jockington.com. We'll have more for you guys later, and I hope you all have a great day. Go Cats!